nothing like falls in the south. Saturday afternoon means great football, great tailgating, and a serious classic. And in the end, it was Southern who came to Jackson, Mississippi and spoiled the 2012 edition of the W.C. Gordon Classic. I'm Mark Gray, and the HBCU Sports Nation rolls from Jackson, Mississippi. We are so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. My parents always hoped that I'd do better than they did. Get a good education, you know, become somebody. I chose Jackson State for many reasons. The faculty and staff seem to care. I have the resources I need to grow and learn. It's affordable, and I'm more than just a face in a crowd. At Jackson State, I matter. Yeah, I'm getting a great education, but I'm fulfilling a dream, too. Now is the best time to choose Jackson State. The Super 7 Series continued in Jackson as the Tigers would honor their all-time legendary coach, W.C. Gordon. And in the 57th meeting, these two teams were trying to break a deadlock at 28 and 28. Southern University opens the game in big fashion. Richardson with an 86-yard kickoff return for a touchdown and he sets the tone early southern jumps off seven nothing they would lead 14 to nothing as dre joseph did it big it would be a huge day for the malign quarterback with this 25 yard touchdown pass to michael barry they're up 14 nothing after going up 21 to nothing they open up the second half with another joseph the barry touchdown this time the swing pass goes 60 yards as Barry takes it to the house and Southern seemed like they were ready to deliver the knockout blow. Jackson State comes back. Rico Richardson takes a 13-yard touchdown pass from Dedrick McDonald, who replaced Clayton Moore in the lineup. That brought him to within 28-7. A little bit later in the fourth quarter now. Richardson again for McDonald, this time from 16 yards out, and it's 28-14. The fans in the stands could feel the comeback coming as Southern was pensive. Jackson making a charge. Deidre McDonald caps a non-play 56-yard run inside the last three minutes with a one-yard touchdown, and Jackson would beat it within 28-21. Southern stop, but then they get the ball back. They get a couple of quick first downs, and then in the end, Jackson could not get them off the field as Southern under new coach Dawson Odoms wins 28-21 in the 2012 edition of the W.C. Gordon Classic and the Dawson Odoms era, albeit an interim one, begins with a critical conference victory. Come and celebrate with us in the land of golden sunshine as Tennessee State University marks its 100th anniversary. With my broadcast partner, Mike Walker, you know, the W.C. Gordon Classic truly was this year. Southern gets out to a 28-0 lead, and they had to hold on for dear life. But again, 
it was all about the performance of a quarterback who had been catching a lot of grief down in the bayou. Word on the street is that our, our head coach lost his job because he decided to stick with this young man. He believed in his talents, and I think today he proved a whole lot of people wrong. Dre Joseph was huge, 249 yards passing and three touchdowns. He was able to sprinkle the ball around. Michael Berry, the receiver, was huge. A couple of big plays, including that 60-yard touchdown at the beginning of the second half, which really seemed to be the straw that almost broke the camel's back for Jackson. A whole lot of individual efforts by him today. You know, whenever you can take a one-yard screen and turn it into a 59-yard touchdown pass, you've made your contribution to the team. And then... You look at Southern in the pantheon of all the great HBCU teams that we've seen over the first month of the season. I mean, you think about it. We've seen Tennessee State, our number one team. We've seen Bethune-Cookman, our number two team. We've seen Florida A&M, who figures to get better, and we'll have Southern versus Florida A&M next week. Where do you rank Southern right now in that pantheon of great black college teams? Well, you know, they had two games prior to this, and they struggled. But I think they put all the pieces together. I think they pulled off the trifecta. Solid defense, solid offense, and tremendous special teams effort. If they can do that for the remainder of the season, they have as good a shot to win the SWAC championship as anybody else. And then, of course, when you talk about falls in the South, Saturday afternoon is all about college football. Jackson, a great college football town. The WC Gordon Classic truly was worthy of Super 7 Series status. Talk about the tailgating, the social activities, the camaraderie. Just a great event and a great place to spend a Saturday afternoon. You know, when we choose somebody to be a Super 7 Series partner, we look at all the ingredients. How many people are going to show up, the atmosphere, the culture, and clearly they're having overabundance of it here in Jackson, Mississippi. And truth be told, Southern may have won the contest, but there are a lot of people who leave wearing Jackson blue and white feeling that their team finished on top. Well, their band finished on top as the sonic boom of the South played it very big, although Southern doesn't have to hang their head for anybody. For Mike Walker, I'm Mark Gray. That's the story from the 2012 edition of the W.C. Gordon Classic here in Jackson, Mississippi. The HBCU Traveling Road Show will continue from Atlanta, where it's Florida A&M and Southern University next week. We hope to see you at the ballpark.